So I will just cut the chit chat and get straight to the point about the controversy going on around Sumeru lately. I will discuss on how things started and at the end I will also give my opinion about this controversy. So yeah, let's start from the beginning. So Genshin Impact fans have been eagerly waiting and anticipating for the new region of Sumeru since it was first mentioned in a launch trailer way back in 2020. But ever since the new Sumeru characters leaked online few days back, fans have been expressing concern that the developers have been whitewashing the characters. The community broadly agrees that Sumeru is primarily based on the cultures of Southwest Asia and North Africa, the SWANA Swana. The launch trailer Sumeru character had an Egyptian-like jackal head, yeah I'm talking about Kaino, and many of the NPCs from the region have Arabic or Sanskrit names. Before the new characters leaked to the internet, Genshin fans were nervous about how the Shanghai based studio would handle having Swana characters in the game. We all know that Genshin's cast is notably like skinned with only two exceptions which are Shinyan and Kaya and all the Sumeru NPCs in the game are similarly light so even though the leaks are necessarily the final designs fans don't feel optimistic about the odds of getting dark skinned characters that would help the character roster feel more representative of South Asia and North Africa and as a result of these leaks fans who want dark skinned characters are already starting to be alienated by the fandom some have been subjected to the racist comments and others have had to justify why a character named Kusanali shouldn't look like a fairy from Mondstadt. It's an ugly situation that will likely continue as Sumeru receives live updates in the next major patch series. But we all know that the Genshin community can be racist towards even accurate Chinese representation. Any significant mistakes in how Swana characters are represented will be amplified by racist sentiments that already exist within the Phantom. Now, if if I talk about what I think about all the situation, so first I want to say that I don't support anyone making threats and being rude about the diversity issues or leaks involving Sumeru. I'm here to give another perspective on the situation besides Twitter's bad and all that shit. So first of all, I had no expectations for Mihoyo to add anything more than pale skin characters as that's what most media is in most places, especially in the east. However, one thing me and my friends talked about about last night was excitement towards Sumeru and Natlan because we get to see characters with the skin like ours in an anime style setting. This was especially exciting with how much research and time Mihoyo takes to make their characters. So I'll admit I was a bit dissatisfied that not many of them in this first cycle were even tan. I am aware that there will be more later on so I'll be patient until then but I only know that because I actively look at the leaks. I'm also also not excited about Kusanali's design but that's for a number of reasons. Some comments I have seen on several sites has a mix of screaming into the wind, low key and high key racism as well as sensible arguments for both sides. But I want to address the less talked about side and that is why so many players want diversity. Let me start by saying that having non pale non male characters in the game is not the agenda as they exist everywhere and as studied by many seeing oneself on media they enjoy is both important and just nice. In my community there is a special love for the darker skin characters because we relate to them even if they are not the same race as us. I won't speak on how Sumeru should represent their people as it's not my place and probably will never be in this game. I just think that instead of people having such a negative reaction to it, let's be real. What is mostly people just asking for a nice thing. So try and understand from their perspective. Most players in the community are probably already represented in and outside this game very well. But seeing stories like the ones about how players felt seen with Yunjin's opera or the Ainu region in Inazuma or even Shinyan warms my heart and I personally want that feeling for myself and other players too. We are a worldwide community and I think we need to remember that more doesn't mean we need to act like clowns about it. Cause I was looking at some Twitter and Reddit users who are just talking shit about it but yeah it's important to see all the sides and not just yours but what do you guys think what's your opinion about all this comment down below and now thanks for watching